In this video, let's just discuss about can you become a developer, a full stack or even a front-end developer in one month or in two months. I created this video known as become a front-end developer in just 30 days and a few comments were pointing out on how it is impossible to become an expert developer in 30 days and how or what kind of time frame do you need to become a good developer. Let's clarify all of those things in this video. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So let me first of all clarify what do I mean by becoming a front-end programmer in just 30 days video. First of all, when I say that you can become a developer or a programmer in 30 days, I really mean a developer or a programmer. I don't mean an expert, an experienced developer or a programmer because by definition, you cannot become an experienced developer in 30 days. The definition of an experienced a senior developer is someone who has worked long enough in the industry or on personal projects that they know what things should be done, what things should not be done, how things should be done. And all of that comes with time, which is uncompromisable thing. You can compress the knowledge you learn, the things you gather, you can compress that time frame, but you cannot compress the time frame of experience, the time you need to work by yourself on your own things. Now, these own things could be projects, these own things could be mini assignments, labs, whatever, but you have to put in the work. However, with that being said, 30 days is a great amount of time for compressing that knowledge you need, the information you need to become a front-end developer and learn things. That's it. I mean, if you are a mid-sized developer or even a senior developer, if you now look back and take a look at HTML, a language like HTML, if I tell you to teach this to someone who has no idea about HTML, I don't think it will take more than one day or two days for you to sit with them for two, three hours a day, and then just teach them what a hypertext markup language is, what these tags are. Some tags would bold your text, some tags would make your text italics, some tags would underline your text, some tags would create a block level thing which spans the whole screen, some tags would, like span would create an inline thing. So you see, you would be able to give that information to a person who has no idea about HTML in one to two or maybe three days. That's it. Similarly, the basic introduction to CSS can be given in a span of a few days, not weeks or months. Remember that here in this thing, we are talking about not becoming an expert developer, but becoming a developer who can write some sort of code, some sort of programming, some sort of thing on their own. So I want to talk about a few comments and a few things. For example, this comment which says you cannot become anything in 30 days. Please stop misleading. Instead, tell them to work hard and in time they will achieve their dreams. This comment by definition, it, it contradicts itself. It says that you cannot become anything in 30 days, but then goes on to say that instead tell them to work hard and in time they will achieve their things. If you start with a mental attitude that you cannot do anything at all in 30 days, like nothing, you cannot do anything then because 30 days is one month, right? Most people will tell you that in order to become a great developer, you need to put in work for a year, two years, maybe even if we consider like 10 months or 20 months, one month is one tenth of that part. That means 10% of that time. And 10% is not a small fraction. Especially when you're getting started, things are usually easy, right? HTML syntax is easy. There is so much you can learn. There is so much content out there. You're like an empty container, right? So you can fill yourself with knowledge really quick. So the first 10% of the time of your journey could actually be used to learn 30 to 40% of things, right? So do not consider 30 days as a small duration only if you are putting in number of hours, right? If you're not putting in time at all, like, you know, if you're just spending 10 minutes a day for programming, then it would obviously not work. But if you're putting in three, four, even five hours a day, every single day, for the first 30 days, it can change your life. And I'm not even saying like, you know, learn from code damn or anything. You can learn from so many platforms online. YouTube is there, Google is there, Free Code Camp is there, Scrimba is there, Code Academy is there, Plural Site is there, just, Putting in the time, putting in the effort is the one thing which is a blocker. And anyone who says that you cannot become anything in 30 days 
is completely false because 30 days is one month. Things are usually learned in span of months, if not years. And one month becomes a significant fraction of that duration. If someone says that it will take you two years to get a mastery at something, one month is still 1 24th of that duration, right? And you learn a lot of things initially. The speed of learning comes initially because you're completely empty container. You can just pour in all the knowledge. So that's my response to this particular comment. I've been writing JavaScript professionally from the last 3.5 years, almost every day. And I can assure you that you cannot become a programmer in just 30 days. It takes a lot of time, sweat and tears to become something. Yes, I can understand by joining this program, you may have some knowledge, but don't expect that you would be able to write front end program like a, some senior or experienced developer. First of all, well, let me let me clarify people who were triggered by this video or this accelerator program in general it was never promised that you will become a senior developer or you will get, become an experienced developer in 30 days it's not that promise this program is specifically for people who want to get off their ass and work for the next 30 days they have it enough they have spent enough time on youtube they might have spent enough time on udemy courses scrolling through videos for hours and days and weeks and now they want to get something done this program was for those people for those beginners or for those people who had a little bit of experience but they want to kick start they want to push their journey it is not for people who are trying to become expert in 30 days there is no shortcut to mastery there is no shortcut to expertise even if you go to code dams full stack learning path or front-end learning path there's a little neat widget which is embedded that how much time will it take you to actually complete this learning path and even if you select the fastest settings like i'm an expert developer or i learn very quickly and you you know make it 10 hours a day 15 hours a day it will still show you that it will take you three to four months of time to complete it still it will show you that so i mean Obviously, I know I have been coding JavaScript professionally from the last 10 years, not 3.5 years. I have worked on so many freelance projects. I've worked on so many things, so many projects of my own. I have earned money for clients. I have worked on real world production systems as a freelancer from Fiverr, from Upwork, from Elance. I have done a lot of work in order to know that there is a lot of learning you can do in span of 30 days. In fact, even as a YouTube channel creator, as a content creator, a lot of times this is an inside secret, but a lot of time when I start with, uh, in the past, when I started with a series, I don't remember exact topics, but let's say Angular JS or Angular 246, I would be just a few days ahead of you, of what I'm teaching you. So I would be learning a certain thing and then I would be putting in the effort to understand it properly and then deliver it to you in form of video. And that process was happening just a few days ahead. I was not like mastering AngularJS for the last 30 days or last three years or last five years and then putting out content. Sure, that would be a, another great way to work, but you can learn a significant amount of things about a particular stack or something if you put your heart and soul in it for a few days time, especially as and when you get experienced with programming in general. This statement that I can assure you, you cannot become any programmer in thus just 30 days, again, is wrong because you can be a decent programmer who can create a broken and ugly websites, but you still would know how to do layouts with Flexbox, what are colors, what are hex codes, what is RGB values, what is CSS, how to import CSS. There are so many concepts, right? And you have to start somewhere, therefore, Again, a blanket wrong statement for someone who's trying to become a developer that you cannot do anything in 30 days. Absolutely false. You can do so much on your own itself. I'm not even like, this video is not even about code damn. It's about in general. If you just pick up any YouTube channel or any other source, a book, some bootcamp, something, 30 days is a good enough time if you put three, four, five hours a day to get at a very high delta, right? So you could be here, and in the next 30 days, you could be from zero to 60, 60% 60 of a developer. That rest of the 40% of the developer, that expert developer, might take you four or five or six or seven months, right? Even higher, maybe a year. But anything which is like, you know, the first 30, 40, 50, 60% of the thing, that can be done in the 30 days or 40, 50 days. You see, when you charge your phone, I'll, a vague analogy, but, but I just remembered this. When you charge your phone, your phones are charged to 50, 60, 70% in the 15 minutes span, right? These fast charges which come. The rest of the 30%, the rest of the 20% charging happens slowly, gradually, 
over the few hours or maybe minutes. That is exactly the thing with becoming developer as well. If you're putting in solid effort every single day, three hours of work, four hours of work, you're completing labs, assignments, you're complete, you're building projects, you're trying to understand, you're going through documentation, you're talking to people, you will get to that 60% level extremely quickly. You just have to keep your focus. You just have to make sure you keep getting stuck and unstuck, stuck and unstuck because you will get stuck. So let's not, let's not worry about getting stuck. But once you get stuck, keep getting unstuck. You do this thing over and over again, whenever it happens, stuck and unstuck, and you don't give up for 30, 45, 60 days, you will realize that you are at a much, much decent place than when you started. You would have covered 60, 65% of the basics. You would have, you know, started feeling confident with your programming skills a little bit. You would have developed a little bit of mini apps, mini projects, but most importantly, you would have set your path, set your trajectory towards becoming a great developer. Not a great developer yet, but becoming a great developer. There's a huge difference and it's an important difference and you have to start in order to get there. You cannot just sit and criticize that will take you one year. So let's not start at all. First 30 days, the first 50, 45 days, 60 days, whatever your duration is, depends on person to person, are the most important days and that is where you can cover the most ground. And if that is not enough, if I'm not able to convince yourself with my experience of coding and understanding how to help people and what kind of potential people carry in themselves to kickstart their own coding journeys. Take a look at these few examples of people who built their very first projects in this accelerator, in this 30-day accelerator program on which the earlier video was. To be honest, it doesn't bother me a lot that people don't trust the message that you can get a lot of things done in 30 days because there would always be people who will prove them wrong. If I am a right instructor, if I am a right teacher and I know that this could work, then this will work for a few students. Obviously, it will not work for everyone. People will give up. People will lose focus. People have the tendency of doing that all the time. But for those of them who will keep their focus on the goal, they will keep on working for hours in a single day. They will build projects. They will complete assignments. They will become developers. If not in one month, according to your definition, then maybe in a few months time and they will get high paying jobs and you will be the one who will still be ranting in YouTube comments that how 30 days is not an enough amount of time to get started with anything or how you should take years of planning or months of planning and figure out and you know do research and talk to 100 people and just not do things right you just don't want to do stuff these people who are taking part in this accelerator and otherwise also who are just putting in their own efforts of learning from free resources or anywhere on the internet, they will beat you. They will beat you if not in 30 days, then in 45, if not in 45, then in 60 days. But they will prove you wrong that it is possible to become or to learn a major chunk of development in a month, in a couple of months, in three months, in four months, and then move forward to becoming a great developer. That will happen. That has been happening for the longest time. and. These comments which you read on internet which say that it is impossible to become a developer in 30 days, that's just completely false. You can become a reasonable amount of, you know, knowledgeable developer. But the very strong condition with that, like I have been repeating for a long time, is that you have to put in effort, put in work every single day. I hope this video helps and gives out a message on it is possible to become a good developer in 30 days span. Not a great one, not an expert, but a good developer. And if you just extend it just a little to 45 or maybe 60 or maybe, you know, 100 days, then it is completely feasible, comfortably feasible to become a good developer, right? 30 days involves you to learn for four or five hours a day, maybe. Maybe some people cannot operate on that level. Most people cannot. But if you stretch it to 100 days or maybe, you know, 60, 70 days of consistent effort, then it becomes relatively easier for everyone. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you agree with my pointers, my suggestions. If you do, then make sure you comment down what you think. Leave a like on this video. It helps the reach of the channel. It helps reaching this message to more people 
who have been under the notion that it is impossible to become anything in 30 days. That is all for this one. I'm gonna see you in the next video really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.